Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can tell by the title, I'm gonna do a really quick, small little Whole Foods haul. I went to Whole Foods today and I picked up just a couple of things that I needed for the house, just random stuff. I don't always get to shop there, which is ironic because I used to work there and that was like the only place I used to shop for a really long time. But, you know, things change, circumstances change. I go there like every now and then. I'm just gonna gradually show you guys things like one at a time, there's no particular order. I'm not gonna categorize it, surprisingly. I'm just gonna get right to the point. That way I can like hurry up and put everything away. So first up to start with is two oat milks. These are extremely hard to find. I switched over from cow milk to oat milk a while ago. I love this brand specifically of oat milk. I don't like a lot of the other ones at all. So Oatly is definitely where it's at for me personally. The only places I seem to find them is Whole Foods and Target. And Target runs out of them extremely fast. I was really happy to find these and I grabbed two. I also grabbed the Raspberry Simply Lemonade. I don't really drink juice. I don't drink soda. I'll have different juices once in a while, but the only juice I really drink is like orange juice, apple juice, and then every once in a while I'll have like a lemonade. It's just like every now and then so I picked up one of these because I haven't had it in a while and I was just kind of craving something other than water because that's kind of primarily what I drink besides coffee, okay? Yeah, so I snagged one of these little guys and surprisingly these were actually cheaper than the ones at Target. So you guys really got to look out for the sales at Whole Foods. If you are a Prime member you get extra discounts on random things in the store that they have on sale or just that they have certain sales for specifically prime members i learned this the other day that like anything with a yellow ticket means that you get an extra 10 percent off if you're a prime member that's just for normal stuff they also do sales that are specifically for prime members so keep a lookout for that because i know a lot of people think that whole foods is extremely expensive and some stuff yes is but you pay for what you get at the same time and it really is good quality stuff. That's a whole nother story. You just gotta like look out, you know what I mean? When it comes to like the health food grocery stores, I mainly like to make sure that I get my meats from there, any type of like meat or fish specifically. And then at like a normal grocery store, I'll get like my cereal, my snacks or like something like that. That all just depends, but yeah, just a little side note. So although I switched from cow milk to oat milk, I have a hard time finding a really good oat milk creamer. I am in the middle of one right now. It's by the Coffee Mate brand and it's okay. It's pretty good. Like it's not horrible or anything. I actually think oat milk tastes better because it makes your coffee really creamy. But I got this little guy just for now. I I don't know, I just needed something else, something else, because the oat milk creamer that I have is not really like working for me right now. So I feel like I'm waiting for Oatly to make their own creamer. And once they do, I feel like it's gonna be over for you, girl. Like I'll probably switch to that, especially if it's a vanilla kind, because I'm very basic. I like my coffee to always be vanilla flavored, mostly. This is from the 365 brand. That is a Whole Foods brand. And I got this in the flavor vanilla. So since we're on the drinks and liquids, I figured I'd show you guys these as well. I got two health aid kombuchas, one in pomegranate and one in pink lady apple. I absolutely love this brand of kombucha. Kombucha, if you didn't know, is basically a black fermented tea and it has a thousand benefits for you. It's a probiotic and it has a lot of health gut benefits. So if you don't know, look that up. It definitely is a hit or miss depending on what brand and flavor you get and also what your taste buds prefer and like. So I would say just try a couple different ones and see what you like. They're not for everybody, you know, they, they just aren't. But I personally don't mind. Um, to me, they just kind of taste like a bitter soda, but like not horrible at all. I actually really want some of this right now, so I'm gonna take a little, take a little swig. Yep. So due to the holiday season, you already know Martinelli's comes out with these. You can buy them throughout the year, I believe, but they're way easier to find right now during the holiday season. So I got two Martinelli's organic sparkling ciders. They're just really good. I like apple juice and I like Martinelli's. Martinelli's I think sells the best apple juice that I've ever had on this earth. I love, love, love Martinelli's apple juice. So I wanted to pick up a couple of these. I'm not really celebrating Thanksgiving to be honest. I'll just be home chilling by myself and hanging out and having a pretty normal day. So I thought like, you know, spruce it up with a little bit of sparkling cider. I ran out of butter so I needed to get some more. I wish I kind of got like a tub of butter as well as as the sticks because I just prefer to have both you know different uses and different measurements and stuff like that I got these ones for now and this is the clover Sonoma salted oh I didn't even notice that so this is the clover Sonoma sweet cream salted butter 
I really, really love oranges, and I think that right now during this time, it is really good to make sure you get all your vitamins and your fruit and your vitamin C and all that. I picked up a couple of satsumas, and these are really, really, really good. Plus, I honestly love the vibe because they're very aesthetically pleasing. Ever since I've had these like years ago, I just love how they look. They're a very, very shiny orange, and then the leaves are just a beautiful shiny green leaf. And I think that they're just like aesthetically pleasing for your fridge or your fruit basket also. But you know, you gotta get it for that vitamin C kick as well. So it's kind of like a double whammy because you get the best of both worlds. They taste good and they look good, okay? And then I also made sure to pick up some fruit. People are always like, don't you know that it's cheaper to buy the whole fruit than it is to get it cut up? Yes, I do know that. And that is why it's more expensive because you're paying for the labor, time that it takes a good old little guy in the back to cut this shit up and put it in the plastic. Yes, I'm well aware of that. But I don't care. And I also don't always enjoy cutting fruit, especially like cantaloupe. These are mangoes and these are cantaloupes. And the cantaloupes are organic. Um, I just picked them up, I didn't even care, nor did I look at that. I just love cantaloupes, they are one of my favorite fruits, and so are mangoes and pineapples, but they didn't have any of those, so I should eat one of these. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that organic. That's that organic, that's that non-GMO. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for my random veggies and produce, I got a sweet potato and then I grabbed two yellow onions. I didn't really need anything else. I have lemons, I have limes, I have garlic. So yeah, I just wanted to pick up these extra few little things for during the week. So also again from the 365, I got two bags of romaine salad. Honestly, this was extremely affordable. They're organic and I literally right now on camera just realized that they're organic. I just bought them. I didn't realize that at all. They were only $2.69 I believe not on sale that was just the regular price which is pretty cheap and that's what i love about the 365 brand created by whole foods is that it's basically really good quality stuff but for a much cheaper price because they sell a bunch of other brands so they came out with their own brand in a much much cheaper price category they actually created 365 stores like they're not called whole foods they're literally called 365 and I believe they have one in somewhere like in LA or in the Bay Area, but I think it's LA. Don't quote me on that, but like Google it or look it up if you live in that area and you're interested. But yeah, so some romaine lettuce to throw with my dinners throughout the week as like a little side. Y'all can't see it, but <laughs> this is just like a huge piece of salmon. It actually was bigger than this, but I just finished cooking a piece right now, which tastes amazing. And the way that I seasoned it was amazing. It's so good, but I love, 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 love salmon. I decided to pick up a couple of pounds of this so that I could have it during the week. For some reason, I've just really been on a huge salmon kick lately, which I have no complaints because it's very good for you and I just love it. I don't really know if you know or not, but Whole Foods has a fire bakery. Them bakers really know what they're doing back there. I don't know who the muffin man really is and if he lives on Drewberry Lane, Pillsbury Lane, I don't know. So I got this mini pack of Snickerdoodle cookies and then I got this mini pack of brown butter chocolate chip cookies. Let me tell you something. I was like, what's the big deal about this brown butter? What is it? What's so special? It's just brown. It's just, I mean, you know, I'm brown, so I ain't got no problem with it, but I'm just curious. I was like, what is up with this brown butter? I had one cookie, one single one, when I went to San Francisco, because we stopped at a Whole Foods over there when I went recently, and I was like, oh, oh, oh my God. It tastes so good, and it's very, very different from a regular chocolate chip cookie. So if you guys ever go, you've got to get yourself a little something sweet, you know what I'm saying? A little snacky snack, you know what I'm saying? It's like a little something sweet a little something sweet so yes i love these and they're super good so y'all gotta y'all gotta taste these these you can't really see because <laughs> a couple of them are already gone and also i shared some with the kids that i was nannying earlier today because we went to whole foods for lunch matter of fact but these are just their homemade cinnamon sugar little donut bowls and i just grabbed these just to like share them with the kids as like a little snack because i told them they could get a treat afterwards like i say get yourself a little something sweet a little snacky snack Mm. Yep. That's it right there. Fire, fire, fire. It's so fresh. And then this is extremely random, but from the brand Earth Therapeutics, I got this natural bristle brush. And I really needed a new brush. If you have curly hair, you already know, like we be looking for the brushes that really can like sleek it back, you know, when you're doing a ponytail or a bun or like certain hairstyles or whatever. So I was like, why not throw that in there? It was only 10 bucks. And I was like, all right, because I needed a new brush. So I'm glad it worked out. 
So there's actually one more thing I want to show you guys, and this is my last item. I almost forgot about it because out of sight, out of mind, and it's extremely random, but it's not my first one. Whole Foods sells these every single year. This is my second time getting one of these. A girl got herself a little friend, my little miniature Christmas tree right here. This isn't she cute? Isn't she cute? Let me give y'all a better look, okay? Let me let me show you what my girl is doing. So I decided to sit down next to her so y'all could just get a little bit of a better view. But this is my girl right here. She's only 36 inches and it's just a cute little tabletop tree. I'm not sure if you guys seen it, but I did do a Target haul. I did buy a bunch of little miniature ornaments because I knew that I wanted to buy this tree. So I cannot wait to decorate my girl. She doesn't have a name right now. I think I'm going to wait till I like put the ornaments on and dress her up and then like see the feel that I get. Right now she gonna be Trina. This is Trina and we gonna call her Lil Trey Trey or Lil Tree for show. You know, but this is my girl, okay? So yeah. I also am going to do a video of myself like in the process of decorating this tree. So make sure you guys keep a lookout for that. All right, you guys, so that was it for my haul. I told you guys it was just a quick little haul, like nothing crazy special. I'll definitely do another one of these when I get like a much bigger selection probably, because that one was just very small. There was like still a lot of stuff I didn't get just because there was already a lot of stuff I didn't need. I'm gonna let y'all go now. All right, bye guys, see you next time.